Welcome to Kids Worship. This was our first Sunday that we could come back here to the church. If you came to the church building and had class in Voight Hall with me, you have already heard everything that we're going to do in this video. Tune in on Wednesday because we are not able to do our Wednesday lesson on video. We have a new memory verse, so let's go ahead and get started on it. There are many rooms in my father's home, and I am going to prepare a place for you. If this were not so, I would tell you plainly. When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. John 14, 2 through 3. Jesus is talking about heaven. That's what we're going to be talking about on Wednesday nights. On Sunday mornings, this is what we're talking about. Jesus was getting his disciples ready for the hard, scary times that were coming. Jesus knew he was going to die on the cross. He was trying to prepare his disciples for that hard time. And this is part of what he told them. Let's go ahead and practice that a couple times. We're only learning the first sentence this morning. There are many rooms in my father's home, and I am going to prepare a place for you. There are many rooms in my father's home, and I am going to prepare a place for you. There are many rooms in my father's home, and I am going to prepare a place for you. Now this morning I have my grandson Paul with me, and we are going to use our little beach ball. You should still have one at your house. It says, Jesus loves me. And get that, and we're just going to pass it back and forth as we practice our memory verse. There are, now we're rolling it. Go ahead. Many rooms in my father's home. I am going to prepare a place for you. Excellent job. This time we're going to go ahead and roll it as fast as we can back and forth. Are you ready? Here we go. There are many rooms in my father's home. I am going there to prepare a place for you. Excellent job. Keep practicing that until you are able to say the words to our memory verse. All right, I told you that part of what we're learning on Sunday mornings is Jesus getting his disciples ready for what was going to happen. We are getting ready and excited for Easter because we know that Easter is when Jesus rose from the dead. He did not stay dead. The disciples, even though Jesus told them that was going to happen, were a little unclear on how that was going to happen. And so Jesus was trying to prepare them. We're going to talk about a couple of the things that Jesus warned them about that led up to that time when Jesus died on the cross. First thing I want you to remember is clear back at the beginning of the Gospels, and it's Jesus, and he's talking, and he is telling them John 3.16. You guys know this verse, so say it with me. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish or die, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Jesus said those words when he first started out telling people about God. He knew why he came. He knew why he came as a little baby. He knew that he was there to die on the cross to save us from our sins. He also knew that he was not going to stay dead, but that he was going to come alive again, get a place ready for us in heaven so we could live with him forever. Everything that happened was not a surprise to Jesus. Jesus knew everything that was going to happen before he ever came as a little baby. 
But as the time was getting close for him to die on the cross, he and his followers were walking to Jerusalem. Now they went to Jerusalem a lot, and they always walked everywhere they went. So that's not a big deal, but this is the last trip they made to Jerusalem. In a minute, you'll remember that there were people waving and shouting. That was the happy part. But on the way there, it was not so happy for his disciples because Jesus pulled the 12 of them over to the side and he's talking as they're walking and he's trying to explain to them everything that's going to go on. And as he's talking, he's telling them, I'm going to be arrested. I'm going to be brought before the religious leaders. They are going to say I am guilty of things I'm not guilty of. They are going to hand me over to the Romans to put, put on a cross. They are going to mock me. They're going to spit at me. They're going to beat me. And then I'll be on the cross and I will die. But don't worry. I'm going to rise again. I'm going to come alive again on the third day. Jesus explained it all to them as they're walking along the road. You can imagine the disciples, besides not really understanding what he's talking about, are feeling now really sad and scared and, and really heavy in heart because of all that Jesus has said. Then they get to Jerusalem, and that's when we call it the triumphal entry. People were waving the palm branches, yelling, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They were throwing their coats and the branches down on the ground for the donkey to walk over with Jesus on his back, treating Jesus like the king that he is. That must have really perked up the disciples because they were not feeling so great about everything Jesus had said. Well, Few days go by and they're in the upper room. Remember they went to have the Last Supper in the upstairs room? And once again, Jesus keeps talking to them about what's going to happen. And as he's talking, he said, you're all going to desert me. That means they're gonna leave and not even help him at all. You're going to desert me because the Bible says that when God strikes the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. You'll all run away. You might remember Peter, and it's like, I'm never going to run away. I'm going to fight to the end for you, Jesus. I'll even die for you. Peter was not the only one who meant that or thought that. He was the one who said it. And he is the one that Jesus addressed when he answered him. But the Bible says that all the other disciples also agreed with him, vowing that they too would do everything to stay with Jesus. They would never desert him. But Jesus knew. Jesus said, no, Peter. In fact, before the rooster crows, you're going to deny me three times. We know from other Easter's that Jesus was right. That is exactly what happened. But as they're continuing to talk, Jesus once again tells them, don't worry, because after I've been raised from the dead, I'm going to go ahead of you to Galilee, and you can meet me there, and we'll be together there. But Jesus knew that, yes, it was going to be terrible. Yes, he was going to die on the cross. But he also knew on the third day he would come alive again. He made arrangements to meet them in Galilee. And then after he visited with them for about 40 days, then that's when he went into heaven to get a home ready for us. Let's go ahead and pray. Jesus, we're so happy to know the end of the story, which is that you came alive again because you are God. Thank you for trying to help the disciples get ready. You love us that much. Amen.